a lot of times when people are getting into marketing, they think that the bulk of it is great ideas or like coming up with something really catchy slogan or a catchy idea for some sort of campaign. And they prioritize a lot of the idea generation as to validate whether that's good marketing or bad marketing. And then if it's not the ideas and they say, well, we just got to create a bunch of great content, which of course content is important. But then there's that third component, the one that I don't think gets the love that it deserves, which is the operations. And if these three down from a percentage standpoint, let's say marketing being 100%, but you break these down, I'd say it's probably 1% idea generation, then perhaps 5% content creation, then the other 94% is operations. And I'll explain why. Because ideas, there are so many great ideas out there. Anytime you go online, you can see numerous campaigns it's not difficult to have a great idea. I mean, in this case, you can see what other law firms are doing. You can ask chat GPT, you can brainstorm. You don't have to be the first to do anything. You can actually put your own spin on something. So the idea generation, I don't know, there's a huge value to that. Although don't get me wrong, a great idea is a great idea, but a great idea poorly executed never leads to a successful campaign. So then there's the content piece. I mean, you're creating the content, but now I think even just in recent years, Content in some ways has become somewhat commoditized where you can produce so many different pieces of content and that's not the barrier to entry that it once was, right? So you see people joining TikTok or putting out stories and reels and YouTube shorts and all these different things that they're filming on their phones. Content is relatively simple to do. I mean, you could even start a podcast and start recording episodes and put a podcast and it out there and do it either relatively low cost or even free. Right. I forget the name of the of the app out there, but it's like a free app that you can use to actually you can record your whole podcast on there with a guest and you can put it out there on the Internet. So that's the content piece. Now, there are differences between good content and bad content, but that to me is also sometimes subjective in the sense that there's times where candid content filmed on your phone could be better. You're putting up like a TikTok, for example, and then there's times where something that's better produced and perhaps more high quality, whether it's for like a TV commercial or it goes on your website or something that you're going to run for a continuous period of time, that is a reflection of your firm's brand, right? So you want to make sure you get the lighting right. You want to make sure you get the sound right, all of that. But the piece that I don't think gets the love that it deserves, like I said, is the operations. And that's really where I believe the rubber meets the road.